All right, folks, here we go again. Brian Blessing in Las Vegas here at bangthebook.com. We always love doing this. This week on the Sports Betting Podcast, I'll be joining Adam Burke, and we're going to have a preview of the PGA Championship and the second leg of the Triple Crown, the Preakness. So we invite you to check out the Sports Betting Podcast. You can follow me on Twitter, at Brian Blessing. Let's talk about the NBA Western Conference Final. question is, how many games will it take Golden State to get by Portland? Uh, they've done this before three times in the last four years, Golden State. Uh, has faced Portland in the postseason. You know, the bottom line is you look at this Portland team, good on them, man. The NBA finally got it right. I mean, you watch throughout the course of the playoffs, and you're seeing 20, 25-point margins of victory. But what a Sunday in the NBA with high drama in both of those Game 7s. And McCollum comes up with the big shot. Portland gets the win on the road over Denver. The bottom line is you got McCallum and Lillard, really. I mean, these two against the depth of Golden State, who's banged up at the time with Durant on the shelf and Cousins on the shelf, yet Golden State still has a decided advantage in the depth department. As for Lillard, you know, what happened to him in Game 7? I mean, he was 1 for 18 from three-point land, uh, and he shot below 30% from threes uh, you know, in that series. So clearly Lillard's got to get that shooting touchback for this team to have any shot in games, let alone for the series. McCollum has just risen to the occasion been a flat-out stud uh, you know, for the Blazers, specifically in the series against Denver. Edis Cantor is the paint presence, and he's going to have to do yeoman's work, but he's kind of bugged by a shoulder injury here. Uh, the one thing is I do believe what we're looking at here are correlated parlays. You like Golden State, it's Golden State in the O. If Portland's going to have any chance in this series, it's going to have to be a half-court game, take a ton of time off every possession on the shot clock, so if you like Portland, to me, it's Portland and the under. And if you like Golden State, it's Golden State and the over. Uh, you know, the bottom line is experience and depth, decided edge for Golden State. And I think in a weird way, with the question marks surrounding Durant, this may sound crazy, but in a bizarre way, Golden State may get even better. I mean, you know, Durant comes in here, and he's got the ball in his hands, it seems like, in the second half, virtually every possession. And everything goes through Duran. The bottom line is now, I think, now all of a sudden, you know, Curry and Thompson up the ante and raise their game. You know Green's going to step up to the plate. And Iguodala has been kind of a fountain of youth here in the postseason. It's a guy, you know, kind of ease him into this all season long, get to the postseason. He's been a monster. 42% from three-point land in the postseason. Iguodala stepped it up. Clearly, minus 550 that price may be even low. Golden State favorite in the series. Game one price. Uh, Golden State looking at a consensus seven and a half point favorite. Total on the game is 220 and a half. I can't see it going beyond five games. And I do believe again that in, in these games, correlated parlay, you like Golden State. Golden State in the over, you like Portland. You think uh, you know there's a game in there where you say tonight's the night for Portland. Go Portland in the under, because they just can't, I believe get in a shootout with Golden State and be successful. There you have it, a preview of the NBA Western Conference Finals right here at bangthebook.com. Listen to the Sports Betting Podcast with Adam Burke. Follow me on Twitter at Brian Blessing and follow along right here at Bang the Book.